Hey everybody, it's your boy Celery Stick, and we're back. Oh my gosh, it's Link, the hero, the mod for Don't Starve. That is so awesome. It's so awesome, I can't even stand still. I'm running around doing figure eights around these trees. You'll notice I'm wearing this bunny hood. Now the bunny hood equips kind of like a helmet, and it's really awesome. It actually lets you run around at like super fast speeds, and it's really good for making yourself all OP when you're running from continent to continent. Really awesome. The next thing we didn't look at is the... Hero's Lens of Truth. Now, if I equip this, you're going to notice it all turns kind of like a patina on you. And you're going to notice that this bunny turned into a beardling. Well, this is because Link is immune to insanity. He's such a hardened warrior that this doesn't affect him. But there's got to be a way to, you know, enter the insane world. So if I equip this, I should be able to attack him. There we go. Awesome. And I picked up some nightmare fuel. So it's a way of attaining your beardlings and all of your, I guess, your nightmare apparition style items. Next, I want to take a look at some of the gems in this game. First, you're going to notice we have Naru's Love and we have Ferora's Wind. As of now, these kind of just sit there and glow. The modder is not quite finished with them yet, but they're still pretty cool. Now, Din's Fire is kind of in the same boat, but when you place this guy in the ground, he immediately sets everything on fire. So you got to watch this in your base. You don't want to put this on the ground near your base because you're going to be sorry. Next, we have the Yoshi Plushie. This guy is super cute and super cool, and you can trade him with some of the locals. Now, there's a bunch of craftable items in this mod, and they're pretty cool. So if you go to your Triforce crafting menu here, you'll notice there's a wooden sword and a wooden shield. Now, we're going to craft both of these real quick. Now, you're going to notice they don't look nearly as nice as the hero shield and the hero sword. But you know what? If you had to, like, activate your touchstone, these guys would work really well to help defend you as you do in a corpse run to go back and get your gear. I mean, you still get a little bit of backpack space. They're just not as, like, they're not as strong either. They're not as good. But hey, you know what? I like the regular stuff better. Next, what we have are a few craftable potions. Now, the red potion, really awesome potion. This is a potion for your health. We have the green potion, which is a really awesome potion because this is a potion for your hunger. Now, the blue potion is kind of a mix of the red one and the green one mixed together. And you'll notice these potions are all really expensive. But the thing is, these are like full potions. So you could have one health and it'll make you full again. Same with your hunger. So they're really useful. Now I've made some of these down here and conveniently I was being attacked by some spiders earlier. So if I drink this right away, boom, full health. And if I drink this guy, boom, full hunger. Really awesome. Now if I go over here, I think I can take some damage real quick. I'll just unequip my shield. Come on guys, hit me up here. There we go. I don't wanna die, so I'm just gonna put that shield back on. Oh man, that guy needs business. There we go. Okay. Now I should have taken some damage. Nice. So if I take this blue potion real quick, health is full and so is hunger. Really awesome. Now there's still one more item that we can craft that's unique to this mod, and those are the bombs. Now these bombs are expensive, but you get them in batches of 10, so it is kind of cool. Now if we just, just put one right there, you're going to notice... Kaboom! Really, really effective. Now these guys are also really good at destroying things. So if I drop a bunch like right here, you're gonna notice that once I let them explode, my fire pit is in pieces. <laughs> really effective, just watch where you place them so you don't burn down your own base. Well guys, that was Link, the hero, a mod for Don't Starve that's super awesome. Make sure to check out episode three coming up soon. We're gonna check out some of the mob drops that this mod has, really awesome. Thanks again for watching. Please check out the mod. See you later guys, bye.